<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Pharaoh Ball. I am your host, your nominee, Will Pharaoh. This is the place where you have to be confident in pitching your materials. And today, this is no different. And it's going to be movies again for this time around. I have some exceptional, wonderful people who are in this film industry. So, of course, we had to keep it filmed. So, you've seen these people on television, you've seen these people on posters. Pokemon, Nike, BT, Universal, Warner Brothers. I am not bullshitting on anything I just said. If you are following all of these people, this is the amount of work they are continuing to do and are continuing to keep rising. So you make sure you check them out on all their platforms and they will definitely let you know that at the end of these shows. I want to thank my guest today, Miss Paris Nicole, Model Board, Chase Anthony, and of course, Grace Aubrey for joining me today. They are going to be our contestants and have to have the confidence, the confidence in being able to convince these other folks in watching one of their favorite movies without giving away the title of the movie or who stars it. So yes, so, um, and as you know, this is a uh, betting type of a game system. So there are prizes at the end. All of our contestants are going to bet how many people that they can convince in our panel today that can watch the movie that they're bringing for us. But not only that, there are gonna be extra little points that you can gain as well too. You can gain uh, points such as, you did such a great job that they will watch it this weekend. Yo, you convinced them so much that they will watch it this weekend, you will get an extra 50 points added to your score. And of course, everyone starts off with 300 points, as we know, so you get 300 points just for being here and being awesome. And you'll use that to bet your system. Each person is worth 100 points to convince, so that way you can go to the Pharaoh's vault. And of course, we have our bronze vault, our silver vault, and our gold vault, with prizes that I'm not going to tell y'all. It's a vault. So you got to win big, bet big in order to get these vault and to get these prizes. And so I want to at least go around starting with Grace and going in a circle. How are you feeling uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 in your confidence on pitching your movies today? Grace, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. These are like my all-time favorite, or this is my all-time favorite movie. I know every line. It's it's a classic. Okay. I'm, uh Chase, what about you? How are you feeling about you uh, confidence wise? It's it's it's, it's three women here, so I, I feel like I lost already. <laughs> um, um, I feel like when it comes to explaining things, tasks, things that you know you're gonna have to do, um, I feel like they're just better at it. So yeah, I mean I came in feeling like a 10, but once I got here, I kind of feel like a strong seven, you know. Not the baddest in the room. I don't feel like the baddest bitch in the room. And I, and I, and I, when I walked out, I was like, I'm about to be the baddest bitch in this room. And it's like, oh, did you see who else is here? And, and my curls out. Like, no, I'm not feeling as confident. They all got their curls out. This is I do want to try one theory, too, that I want to see that we always test. Uh, ladies, how close is a notepad to you right now? <laughs> <laughs> you in your office, that don't count. You, 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 I got you. And you got had you. no plans Let on using it either. It's <laughs> oh yeah, it didn't have nothing on there. It had no, it had nothing of substance. It was like DBA, taxes, <laughs> new car or and all, and different <laughs> grocery <things>. store. <laughs> yeah, Dry like, linens? Uh, question mark. I don't. I that was it. And that was for my jokes last night. That was crazy. <laughs> It was not a good show. All right. All right. We're going to switch it over to Model more, more. How are you feeling confidence wise in today? Um, I'm feeling pretty good. This is one of my all time favorite movies, similar to like how Grace feels about her movie. And I feel like it's a movie that everyone should actually watch. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay. All right. And last but certainly not least, Paris Nicole, how are you feeling today and with the movies that you brought? Well, I feel good today because I woke up. You know, that's a great reason to like I'm functioning. I can hear I got my senses. Okay. Um, as far as the show goes, you know what? We gonna find out, you know. <laughs> I really like we gonna this. see. 
Beyond Sleep. I really like this movie, so I feel like I should be able to convince all of y'all to go see it. Because why not? Gotta yes, have the indeed. confidence. Yes, indeed. Confidence, confidence, confidence is the key today in being able to win this game. And just remember, there is can only be one winner. So you got to remember too that you want to have the highest score so you can get these prizes. And so our first contestant is really going to have to remember that as she did volunteer to go first. And that is, of course, Miss Grace Aubrey. We're going to go ahead and bring her to the big stage, the big screen. Let's go ahead and get her switched up. All right. All right. How right, you doing, Miss do Aubrey? I'm feeling good, feeling great. Let's do this. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the betting system first. Like I said, each person is rewarded 300 points. So what we want to know right now is how many people will you be betting that you can convince to watch your movie out of your three contestants today? I think two out of three at least. Okay, so we're going with two out of the three. So you have the potential to get 200 points if you can convince two people to watch this movie. But remember, there are power-ups to gain extra points, and there's going to be three today. Three of those are going to be, uh, I will watch this, uh, watch it this weekend based off of your pitch. Also, I will recommend it to a friend. If somebody was like, yo, this pitch was so good, and I'm so interested in this movie, I know somebody else that'll watch it, I'm going to text them now. That is a extra 100 points if they want to recommend it to somebody. And if you did such a good job that I want to watch the film, you would get an extra 50 points for convincing the host as well. Easy <laughs> And I will let you know, I'm easy as fuck. Just letting y'all know that. This is an easy 50 points, everybody. Because <laughs> I don't watch yeah, anything. 50 points for everyone. <laughs> I will watch yeah. You get points. You get points. Everybody gets points. I will watch yeah, almost Oprah. anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we know that you're gonna go for two people. So we're gonna go ahead and get the clock set up. Grace, you're going to have one minute to be able to pitch your film. Now, please also remember, you cannot name the actors in the film and you cannot name the title of the film until the end of your pitch. So Grace, are you ready? Oh shit, how long did I volunteer first? Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. All righty, Grace, your time starts now. All right, so this is a classic, a uh, classic rags to riches story, all right? We got two women, one beautiful, the epitome, the standard of beauty, just, you know, trying to make it in life, decides to go from the East Coast to the West Coast to try to, you know, to try to make their dreams come true. They end up bombing the thing that they went to. And but they end up running into somebody who just changes their lives. They meet this rich person. They end up like just living the life. And then they realize it was a scam. And they're like, what the hell? And so it's just like a <laughs> I was doing so good for the first few seconds. So it's it's just a it's just a rags to riches type moment. The women end up, you know, getting everything that they had just dreamed of, becoming just royalty, ghetto fabulous. <laughs> and there's lots of funny moments, all right? Lots of funny lines. It's a classic. If you haven't seen it, you definitely need to see it. And I think my time is in my time still up. <laughs> Damn it. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you went first. <laughs> I I, I that, time, that time ticker, I was like this. I got anxiety. For her. Just watching it just slowly. <laughs> that shit was just ticking fast. I was like, oh, it was. Oh. I didn't even know. I just saw 20 seconds and that was it. <laughs> Damn. One minute is fast. Damn. It is. I say, yo, those those twenty, yo, those one minute, it goes by like that. You'll look down and you'll be like, oh snap, I got twenty seconds left. But if you would let us know, though, Grace, what was the name of the movie you're pitching and who did it star? I feel like I should get points if they can guess it. <laughs> I genuinely no, no. have okay. no idea. Baps. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So the good, so the good idea. So I actually do like that idea. So I am going to go ahead and add a new feature to this. If you can guess this movie, 
both you and the person that is doing the pitching will get an extra 25 points. Hey. So Grace and Chase will now have 25 <laughs> points added to that total score, making it 325. So just remember, for everybody that's going to go, just say, hey, I would like to see, can any of y'all guess the movie based off my pitch? Just got to remember that and then make sure that they can. And then also ask them to, would they recommend it to a friend or would they watch it this weekend? So you can yeah, make sure. It's a ladies night movie. Hey, like you gotta make like sure you gotta make sure so you can gain them points. So we're gonna go ahead and go with you first. What I do want to know is how did you <laughs> feel? How did you feel about Grace's pitch? And based off of her pitch, will, are you going to watch the film? And let us know if there were any added details, like watching it this weekend or recommend it to a friend. <laughs> um, I would say it started off great and enthusiastic. <laughs> Uh, you can't ask a Virgo her opinion. Oh God! I was about to say the same thing. I'm like, I'm a Virgo too, so I'm like, ah, oh, shit, double Virgo. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so then I was just like, not really convinced because I felt the stress and the pressure of like you running out of time. <laughs> and then I kind of figured what movie you were talking about, but I just it's like the way the rags to riches didn't fully pull me in about these two ladies <laughs> that are ghetto fabulous. I don't know. Dang it. <laughs> but, like, because it's you, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would go watch it with you. Like, if you came and were like, Paris, we gotta watch this movie. It's about these girls from Max Riches. And you're like, all right, Grace, I'll go. <laughs> I sound like a pity, all right, Grace, but I'll take it. I'll take it. When I recommend it after that description, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad my self esteem is good today. I know, it's well, it worked out. It's my girl. It's my girl. <laughs> Harris knew going in that she was like this. Ah, you want me to tell you? The camera's on. There you go. <laughs> All right, yeah. so just to confirm though, Paris, you are giving it a thumbs up to watch it based off of her pitch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she wasn't convincing, is it? At all. <laughs> <laughs> what she said, like if she walked up to her and said this to her, she'd be like, all right, we could. Cool. <laughs> I'll go watch it with you. Just based off your energy, girl, I think I'll go see it. You seem like a trusting person. You were excited about it at first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you were excited first. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Paris, for giving your honesty. Always. Chase, we're going to go ahead and move you over. We want to know the same thing. How did you feel about Grace's pitch? And is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down in watching this movie based off of her pitch? So, and, you know, just the sake of honesty, um, yes. again, you know, with, like Perry said, she started off good. Had me with the raggedest the richest thing. Um, and then, <laughs> that, and then we kind of stopped there because it was like <laughs> then they went in to this dude and then he changed their life. I was like, it ain't sound like maps no more. It, it, it I, know. Like I, forgot, I, forgot. I was like, I think the, I the white dude died at the end. I'm like, ah. <laughs> and, and to be honest, again, I, I, I watched my fair share of chick flicks and stuff like that because um, it has Holly Berry in it. I probably would watch it. You, hey, I'm recording. You're just walking in my recording. <laughs> no, so now it's about whether I will watch BAPS. Would you watch BAPS with me this weekend? Hell yeah. Hey! But based on the pitch. Did you think it was his favorite movie, though? Ba based on the pitch. Based on the pitch, I don't think this is for to watch it either. Come on, Chase! <laughs> I just don't want that he was like rags and riches and then these two chicks aye. go from the east to the west. I felt like I knew that it was Baps <laughs> because I'm a Holly Berry fan. But well, this does feel like a lot of pressure, uh, Paris. I because I, like everybody looking at you and you're like, hey, be honest. It's like aye. and Grace. 
fucks with you. Uh, but I don't know if I make a movie her say about these, you know, women. If they was fighting, they put some Jennifer Lawrence, a little Scarlett Johansson in there, and then it's the Hunger Widow. You know, Hunger Games no. Widow. And hey, there was some violence in there. There was some fine. There was some fine moments. She reaching. Some- this is after the pitch talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and again, I, I, this is. I probably won. Won it. Okay, so Ward, just- you are up. Same question. Okay. How do you feel about Grace's pitch, and is it a uh, so yes or pass? Similar to Paris and Chase, like definitely having the first half. Like you were super enthusiastic about it. I loved the whole like rags to riches, especially like east to west coast, because those are two totally different coasts. I feel like a lot of people don't understand that. Definitely big change. I would have just loved to know more. Cause like when you're like, oh yeah, they did, they went this thing and then the thing didn't work out. I'm like, well, what's the thing? I just would have wanted to know more like juicy details, you know? Um, especially about like the guy, like, oh, he changed your life, but then like, whatever. Um, but I love a good chick flick, especially watching with my girls. Like it's always nice to watch a movie, whether I've seen it or not. Um, so it's hard because I feel like off the pitch, I'm not sure if I'm fully sold on it, but it's like, it's similar to like how it's like, I'd want to watch it with a friend for the first time or multiple times. So I'm kind of like, I guess I would be like, I would recommend it to a friend, but I don't know if I'd actually watch it this weekend. Okay. That, yeah. Cool. Okay. So, yeah. you know, so, but we are going with a power up of, you would recommend it to a friend. Yeah. Cause I'd want to like one of my homegirls who lives close by, I'd want to watch. Cause it's like a, seems like a cool little chick flick rags to riches that a, every girl would love to watch with wine and fucking cheese and, and shopping screens, shit. All of that. Yeah. Know. All the stuff. Um, but okay. based on the pitch, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't watch it this weekend. So I guess that's what a no, but then like a yes to recommending to a friend. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Okay. And just, and just to confirm too, though, Chase, you did, you, you asked Mo, would he watch it? Is you are, would you have recommended it to a friend? Um, no, because obviously my friend is like, this is my favorite movie. And it's like, <laughs> Hey, which is, I'm just, I'm just getting some clarity on that. <laughs> so I've known him, I've known him damn near my whole life. That's not his favorite movie. He saw <laughs> Grace. He was like, you said Grace said what? And then he was like, <laughs> like no. Well, yeah, I watch. But all right then. Well, Grace, unfortunately, you did not place your full bet that you got, so you do not get any of the points for the bet. But you do get 50 points for it being recommended to a friend and the 25 points for it being a guest, giving you a total of 375 points for today's game. So again, you never know what can happen, but a great job on your attempt here. And you do get the uh, honor of being to select who goes next. Sidebar, remember, I got you points for vote, uh, guessing the movie. I'm <laughs> mute my mic now. You right. make your decisions based on how you feel. You know, look, it's all love in this room, but you know, this is this is a competition. And so, so the one that had the most criticism for me, I think it should go and next. <laughs> and that is going to be. Oh, the Parish Nicole. <laughs> okay. I was like, uh, all of them had a lot of criticism. <laughs> and, so I like, and I was like, which one of us? <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah, Paris is ready, though. Paris has already got the confidence out and ready. But we want to hear from you, Paris. How you feeling right now after seeing the first round take place? Kind of getting a little bit now of the wind behind you. Yeah, it's definitely getting a little bit now after seeing the first round. Kind of getting a little bit now the way of the land, how the game works. How are you feeling now? Um... Well, I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go first because I usually <laughs> like to go first. <laughs> Just because I think it's always good to go first. So it is good that you went first, Grace. So mm-hmm. I'm to you because then, you know, you know that this is everybody's first time. So it's like, it's not that bad when you make, you know, whatever you make because you went first. So you took the low, you know, but, uh, there's a little bit of pressure. I'm like, dang, can I say everything I want in 60 seconds? No. Well, you're about to find out yeah, in just a little bit, though. But first, we definitely want to see 
where your confidence is when it comes to this bidding. Now, as you know, you do have 200 points. I mean, excuse me, 300 points that was given to you. So we want to know out of the three contestants, how many do you think you can convince to watch this movie you're about to pitch? Well, I had a lot of confidence in the beginning. I said three, so I got to stick one. Okay, going for the hat trick. Three out of three. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, and always remember too, there are still power-ups that you can get. Of course, watch it this weekend, suggest it to a friend, and convincing the host so you can still gain extra points as well. So we're going to go ahead and get the clock set up on here. There she have one minute to present your movie. Are you ready? Uh, yes. All right, Paris, your time starts. <laughs> it's all right, just breathe. Remember that confidence. Yeah, you got this. Just like the rest of y'all. Y'all got this. Your time begins now. All right. I know we are all about Black excellence, and this film is the epitome of Black excellence. Not only is it written, directed, executive produced, but it's also starring a mostly Black not only is it starring a mostly black cast, it is showcasing black people in a light that most films in this industry have not highlighted before. We're talking about black excellence to the highest degree because we got superpowers, y'all. Okay, like we got we got things going on and, and materials pulled from the earth that help protect us, but it also highlights a lot of things about royalty, which we also don't normally see on a grand scale. So I feel like this is a movie you guys have to go watch because it's been highly recommended all over. I think it's gonna be the highest grossing film of its time, period. I mean, it was, I'm a hitching like it hasn't come out yet. But yes, you guys wanna see this movie. All right, all right. Parish, your time is up with, uh, so we're gonna go and ask, yeah, is there anyone? That's the thing, okay, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> is there anyone that would like to guess <laughs> what these move? What this movie is? Either Grace, I mean, you can go. I feel like all three of us know this. Wait, so, so, so Paris, let, we'll let all, we'll let the one, so who wants to uh, guess? Raise your hand. We know Chase, Grace, know. Is. I mean, Okay, so, but again, so, Paris, don't give the answer away yet. We're going to go to all three of y'all to make a guess. Grace, what is your guess based off the pitch that she just gave? I think it's coming to America. All right. Chase, what is the movie you are thinking she just pitched? Black Panther. All yeah, right. That's what I was going to say as well was Black Panther. All right. If you can, Paris, what? movie did you select today and who does it start? It is Black Panther. Star Chadwick Boseman. Yes. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes indeed. Sam. Yes, indeed. Well, you said royalty, and then you said all black cast, and I mean, which is all true. Yes. Yo, if she did all that and then said and then said New Jack City, I'd have lost my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, but yo, so for those that guessed Black Panther, of course, Chase and Moore did. So that is an extra 25 points yeah. added to them as well as Paris for uh, getting them to be able to guess the film. So uh, that is added now to y'all total score. So uh, we are going to go ahead and start with you, Grace, since you are at the top. We would like to know, how did you feel about Paris's pitch? And based mm -hmm. off of the pitch, did she convince you to watch this movie? And is there any add-ups you'd like to give? The floor is yours. Okay, I'd like to start off by saying <laughs> that she didn't say anything about what the movie was about besides <laughs> Black Excellence. But because it was Black Excellence, you know, I was like, all right, it's going to be a good movie. Mm -hmm. Didn't know there was action, because if it was action, I'd been like, oh, shit. Didn't know that there was, like, a love story happening or anything, like, no type of element of that but the energy she came with it was like ooh, you know like okay you know she got a convincing face she got a convincing smile energy like you like all right Gosh. she's not gonna steer me wrong convincing face thank you i love that compliment convincing <laughs> face i've never got that before but based off the pitch 
to what I watched with this movie. <laughs> hmm. I'd say I'm a pretty like easy person to convince. <clears throat> so I'd be like, okay, like I don't know what it's about, but I'm gonna go in, you know, I'm gonna go into it with like, all right, it's about to like pump up black people. Like it's gonna be great. Like this is gonna be a good story. It's not like so I I'll give it to her. She, okay. Get okay, get got so we're giving the thumbs up. Now the question is though, based off of the pitch, is there any power-ups you'd like to give as far as watching this weekend? Recommend it to a friend. I don't know about recommending to a friend because I don't really know besides what it's about. What it's about. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I would go see it this weekend. Based off of her pitch. Based yeah, because I I'm always trying to you know see a good movie. Mm -hmm. I'll add it to my list of movies to watch. Okay. All right. So uh Paris, because because of that, that's gonna automatically give you the 50 points for recommending it to a friend. So that's gonna put you up at 375 already. So uh Grace, thank you so much for your feedback. We're gonna go ahead and move it now to Chase. Chase, same thing. How'd you feel about uh Paris's pitch? And based off of the pitch. Would you go see this film and are you going to recommend it to a friend or be watching it this weekend? Well, um, she pitched it like the DJ Khaled of Black Excellence uh, <laughs> <laughs> and another Black Excellence and another okay. Black Excellence. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're like, all right, Black Excellence it is. That's um, the key word. <laughs> yeah. So based on that part of it, I think, you know, being black in America, uh, it sounds like I would definitely uh, give her a thumbs up on the pitch. Like, especially if I'm in there with a whole bunch of white people, I would be that one black person. Like, that, that was amazing. And all she wanted was excellence and walked out. And I was like, that was an amazing pitch, right? Um, so I, I feel like she won me over from all the black excellence uh i would i would probably still recommend like hey man this is black excellence film what's the name <laughs> everybody's doing it it's black excellence <laughs> um so i will watch it and i would recommend it and again i didn't think that i was gonna get that but all the black excellence my my guilt was just like no nah, bro you, you gotta watch this you gotta do it for the <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right now, make your sign. Walk out there with glee. Make your sign. And I'm and I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, Paris. I'm actually going to piggyback that as well, which gives you an additional fifty points for convincing the host. Because I was like, you know, if I don't go see this, then my black card's <laughs> getting right. pulled. Right, getting revoked. Uh, right. Yes, I gotta go see this. Black <laughs> <laughs> so, <know> your audience. <laughs> so based off of that though you have already got additional points so you're now sitting at 475 what? but you have one more person you need to convince to get your full oh. bet Virgo yeah. uh, <laughs> sis Virgo. No, I'm kidding um, personally <laughs> I loved the energy of course Black Excellence already had me sold um, and I knew exactly what movie you were talking about so I was like oh I can't wait to be able to tell to say what movie this is um it was a great film by the way um but yeah i would i would it's a thumbs up for me um even though like grace said like i didn't actually know what the movie was about it was just the fact black excellence like black cast like we don't see that very often i would recommend it to a friend like i'm seeing it like let's let's roll so yeah all righty so you paris you are able to have pulled off the hat trick you got all three <laughs> people to be convinced to watch this that's going to give you an additional 300 points which now puts you at 775 points gold vault so looking nice to you <laughs> and pitching and not only that you also have the honor of picking the next person between chase and more to go next next virgo more Oh, right. I was hoping you were gonna pick me. I hate going last. <laughs> yeah, I truly hate going last. I get anxiety. Okay, this is great. Yeah, I felt the energy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, girl, please pick me. <laughs> <laughs> pick me, please. And I felt. 
I'm also excited to hear this. So uh, okay. let's go ahead and get the betting situation started. Now, as we said, you do start off with 300 points. So we want to know how many of the contestants are you going to bet you can convince to watch this movie? Now, keep in mind that Paris is sitting at 775 points. So you're going to want to try to beat that in order to win today's game. I am very confident in this movie. It's it's a really good like life lesson type of movie. So I'm hoping all three of y'all are going to be convinced by my pitch. So we'll see. Let's see if I can pull it off. All righty. <sighs> We're going to go ahead and bring up the clock. Give it to me. You got one minute. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Morg, your time starts now. Okay, so basically this film is about this boy, uh, Trevor. He's a seventh grader, he's in 11th grade, and he gets an assignment by his social studies teacher about how to create an idea that is gonna change the world, but moreover, put it into action, right? So he comes up with this idea of like paying it forward. So essentially it's like, if he does a favor for somebody, instead of that person giving him a favor back, he wants them to do three favors for three random people. Um, and so throughout the, the movie, we just see a lot of different fluctuations. Like he has a, um, he's struggling with his mom being an alcoholic. Um, he, one of his pay it forward things is um, helping a homeless man actually live in the physical garage of his mother's home. Um, it's just very crazy things that we usually don't see uh, being portrayed in films, especially by 11 year olds. Um, but it's definitely like, a, we see moments of failure, um, you know, with uh, his mom's ex-boyfriend who comes back, who's also an alcoholic. Um, and then we also see how it gets captured by like the LA news station um, of his paying it forward acts. So appreciate that pitch more. Your time is <sighs> more before you give away what the movie is. We're going to go over to our contestants to see if they can gain some extra points. Um, Grace, it. That's right. Yeah. Would you like to see and try to guess this movie? I actually don't know it, but I want to see it. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, just hold, <laughs> we'll, hold, we'll hold that off. Uh, Chase, what about you? Are you going to try to guess it or not? So, yes, I am going to try to guess. But I think I'm wrong. <clears throat> as soon as I was like, yeah, I'm going to guess. I think it was a pursuit of happiness, but I think I'm wrong. I thought I it was pursuit of happiness for a second, but I was like, not 11 years. But when she started saying all the other stuff, I was like. <laughs> all right. So we got we have your guess. Which is oh, Seven of Pounds, the other Will Smith movie. <laughs> Paris, what about yourself? Would you like to try to take a guess? I have no idea what movie it is. Doesn't surprise me. A lot of people probably haven't seen this movie, to be honest. I mean, honestly, oh. I was thinking, is this an independent film or this is like somebody's mm -hmm. short film? Mm -mm, it's a dead. <laughs> it's an older movie, though. That's probably why. But oh. okay. Well then, uh, Morg, would you like to reveal the title of this yes. movie and who oh. it stars? So it stars Kevin Spacey, Helen Hunt, and Haley Joel Osment in Pay It Forward is what the movie is called. Oh, and no, it's no. it's oh. such a good movie. Like, it's so good. <laughs> like, I'm not in this movie. It is so incredible. Like, said the name of it in the description. Right. It's but as cool. like the fact that he was paying it forward. So you couldn't even like really tell that, that was the movie title. But That's it's so it. good. It's, yeah. it's so good. Oh, yeah. All righty, so uh, Grace, you had already kind of gave uh, gave yours as a thumbs up to this, but I do want to hear <laughs> your thoughts on her pitch uh, and uh, why I convinced you. Well, I'd like to start off by saying more energy and passion for this movie. Definitely um, was definitely shown in her pitch and it made my heart happy. So I was like, oh, I do want to see a good movie, you know, a good pay it forward, like, situation. I do like good feel good movies. And so, yeah, I want to see it. Okay. So you already have <laughs> one of your three convinced. Um, Grace, thank you for that feedback. Chase, we're going to move it to you. Please Wait, let us. But recommend it. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. You are right. Thank you, Paris. Is there any any uh recommendation for this? Oh yeah, the, the, the mom and me would definitely like. I want to go see. I would recommend it to my son. Like we're gonna watch this. Oh cute. <laughs> right. So we do have it recommended to a friend or a child or, or a child. <laughs> or a child. Uh, which is gonna boost that up? Uh, would boost you up to three seventy five with you 
Baltimore score. And so we're going to go ahead and move it over to Chase. Chase, same thing. How'd you feel about uh, Morg's pitch? Did it convince you to watch the movie? And is there any extras of recommending to a friend or watching it this weekend? I think you can't live downtown LA and not feel um, the passion <laughs> that comes from this movie. As soon as she said paying it forward and homeless guy, I was like, oh, is it my homeless guy? Um, but yeah, no, it's, I mean, we got one that sits in the alley, Morgan knows, yep. which is right mm -hmm. there. Right there, every time. If that's what I'm gonna give my money to, or if I'm gonna give my money to anybody, that's what it's going to. So yes, I was sold, I wanted to see the movie. I wanted to go do something nice for somebody uh so yeah good 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 job on that i, I totally didn't know the, the real name of this movie that was crazy found the will smith movie huh? you threw that in there right. wow, was. um <laughs> and yeah i would recommend it to a friend because some of my friends ain't shit so i'd be like hey man like you should watch this movie you could be a better person <laughs> Right. Chase, thank you, of course, for your feedback. But uh, last and certainly not least, Harris Nicole. Hello, Virgo. The <laughs> Virgo. Oh, yeah, no, you pulled at our heartstrings. It was, it was like, I, I like movies with messages like that. So I like that you actually explained what was going on in the movie. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Without giving anything away. No spoilers. <laughs> So that is something that I would, I would go see for sure. I know how you explained it, but like recommending, I would rather go like something like that. I'd rather go see first and then recommend, um, based off the pitch because I was like, I don't know who's in it, so I'm like, I don't know if I would really tell my friend to go see something I haven't seen because I don't know <laughs> if it's really good, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but I would go see it. Uh, and congrats, more. You were able to place the entire bet for all three people to convince. And so that is going to add 300 points to your score, giving you a total of 725 points after your pitch. So congratulations to you. And so um, we have one more contestant to go, uh, as he said, ladies first. So, of okay. course. Mr. Chase Anthony, but we want to know after hearing these three pitches, you're seeing the score. How are you feeling right now? Not confident. Not confident, Will. You got this. Back to you at the studio. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, Chase. Well, so we're going to go ahead and take your uh, bet right now. But just remember, uh, Chase, you do have 300 points. But also remember right now, Paris is sitting at the top right now with 775 points. So you will, need to, you will need to convince all three to be able to at least sit at 650 and you at least need to get two people to do recommend to a friend or watch this weekend or convince the host to at least try to catch up with Paris in order to try to take the win so how many people will you be uh, trying to convince today chase man i gotta bet all of it put all of it in man I'm pushing all my chips in man I'm, I'm, I'm getting all three all right chase are you ready nah man i just felt my deodorant activate <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna stand up. I'm not gonna be that enthusiastic. All right. Here we go. All right. Chase, your minute begins now. Right. Everybody wants a good man. Everybody wanna know where a good man at. This is him. He is the best man out there, right? And he is the most loyal man out there. And he out there, he the most gangster man you know out there. And he fighting and he's slaying and he's doing all that. And it still ain't enough because then they kill his family and then they banish him, right? And as soon as they banish him, they have to, they, they send him to the outskirts and he got to fight his way back. And when he fight his way back, they put him in the arena with the dude who took all this stuff from him out of jealousy and spite. The dude even killed his dad. Kind of low-key want to sleep with his sister. That's a little weird. But to revenge his family, he has to fight his way back. And what does he do? He go in there slashing and killing everybody and shutting down everything. And then at the end, he asked them because they weren't entertained. He felt like they weren't entertained. Are you not entertained? Is that not why you came here? Boom. Yeah, 
<laughs> Your time is up, Chase. <laughs> what a stay. Thank you so much for that presentation. <laughs> I know it was the knife fighting stuff. It got out, out of control a little bit. You had me there. <laughs> What's so funny is Paige really trying to figure out this movie. She like, I know she looking. I was like, I know this shit. Hold on, what is the? <laughs> I was like, the, 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 the the face, I really don't. I really okay. Don't. So we so we do want to know the guesses. So are you letting us know, Paris, that uh, in your guess, uh, do you know or not? Um, I can guess. It's uh, ah. Uh, 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 uh. You said there's like slashing and stuff. I, like, is it black? Is it Mexican? What is it? Is it a really good actor? <laughs> uh, I don't want to give it to you. If I say yeah. any of that, then. Okay. And I said a slogan at the end, though. I will say that. I know, and I don't fucking know that slogan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Blade. <laughs> okay. All right. Board, what about you? I know the are you not entertained? I just it the 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 movie's on the tip of my tongue and I, I can't I can't nail it down, so I have to pass. I can't I'm upset about it. It's so so Grace can Grace can have this. She Grace, got it. What is your guess? I got you, Chase. <clears throat> okay, this is this movie is the man's favorite movie. Ma man's like just say it. <laughs> Just it's a good movie. You don't have to watch it. Starring, starring Joaquin Phoenix and Russell Crowe. It's The Gladiator. Hey! <laughs> but uh, due to Grace being able to guess the movie, uh, she will get an additional 25 points as well as you, Chase. So that's going to put your total at 375. And so we are going to go and begin with more on whether or not uh, this pitch convinced you to watch this film and what did you think about the pitch? Okay, so, you know, I love a good action film. I mean, I love action video games, action movies, and as you can tell, you know, I got my, got, got my stuff behind me. So, you know, when you was, ooh, <laughs> when you was slashing and doing all this, I was like, I'm sold, I'm gonna go watch it, I need to. I actually have not seen it, but I know the, the cool, I know, I don't know how I haven't seen it, but I'm, I'm, I would watch it this weekend. I'm gonna recommend it, be like, yo, we gotta watch this. We got some slashing and shit going on. We got all this. Um, and so yeah, I I was I just felt the passion, I felt it, and I'm like, okay, like you had me sold, especially when you started doing this, I was sold, good. All right. Uh, and so, <laughs> and, and, uh, would you recommend? But based off of the pitch, would you recommend it to a friend or watch it? Oh uh, yeah, weekend? I'd do both. Both? Yeah, I haven't seen it. I would love to. I'd watch it this weekend, and I would be okay. like, hey, come over, let's watch it. Yeah. So he oh, got me on both. Uh, uh, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> like lucky, luckily for him, I haven't seen it. If I had seen it, I don't know if I would have, would have watched it this weekend. But I haven't seen it, so I'd watch it this weekend. Okay, so we all know that uh, the watching it this weekend gives you an additional hundred points, as well as recommending it to a friend is fifty, and so that is going to put Chase at five hundred and twenty-five points right now. But you still have two people that you do have to convince to watch this movie in order to get your full bet. At Hold up, my puppy's one. barking. Okay, it's all good. We're going to move it to Paris Nicole. Uh, Paris, if you can let us know, based off of his pitch, would you watch this film and would you recommend it to a friend or would you watch it this weekend? I would definitely watch this film. I can't even hate. The pitch was good. He said something about a good man. I was like, oh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> You knew your audience. I'll give you that. So just that's the tactic I use. So I get you. I can't even hate on it. You know, like damn, you got me. Uh, yeah. So I would, I would watch it. But like, um, all the slashing and stuff. I don't know if I would watch it this weekend. I'd be like, oh, it sounds like a movie I watch. But I'm more of like a romantic comedy kind of girl. Um, I'm not like so pumped to see action films. So it was about love, though. That was the under. You picked of. Black Panther. <laughs> yeah, that, like that, yeah, nobody got like kill, kill. Like, you didn't see the sh 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 type stuff. He threw and him in the ocean. Black excellence. Black excellence. Okay. Yeah, Black excellence. Yeah, that, that's the answer. Thank you. you that man. was going to be an easy one to. <laughs> that's but all you, you would see. Me. 
<laughs> okay, so you did convince her to see it, but no recommendations of request of referencing it to a friend or watching it this weekend and stuff like that. You can't be mad. It's the same thing she said more like she she hadn't seen this film, so she watched it. If she did, she watched it first before recommending. It. So you already knew you wouldn't get mad with no one. So, but you did convince too, and so now it is all on Grace Aubrey. Grace, um, Grace you bring it home, Grace. Based off of his pitch, mm. would you watch this movie? And is there any recommendations to a friend or watching it this week? Okay. Based off the energy, you brought the energy. All right, you brought the energy. I love a good action movie, especially if it stars a good man. And I love a good revenge movie, okay? So <laughs> I would definitely go see it. It is actually one of my faves. I do love The Gladiator, yes. Okay. Just to make it interesting, because I knew I was ready out this game, so. <laughs> you hit it, Paris. I feel like y'all three are like tied now. <laughs> oh, that that could have been the thing, but uh, unfortunately, I believe it was the watch it this weekend that did it in uh, because right now that gave Chase a total of eight hundred and seventy-five. Oh shit! Coming in with the W. Make it, oh, yeah. you <laughs> Chase, <right>? there. <laughs> That's what I came here for. Oh, damn! Hey, you had me sold, man. It was, it was the slashing shit. I was like, I'm gonna see it this weekend. <laughs> Yo, had he had he not got coming. that, y'all are tied. Didn't think y'all would have tied. Will, did oh, you, yeah. you want to see the movie? Huh? Yeah, did you want to see the movie? Because that would have me up a I couldn't believe he didn't want to see it with my pitch. I was like, excuse me? You didn't want to see my movie? Again, I was guilted in the seeing Black Panther. That's why she got <laughs> <laughs> She knew what she was doing. Black excellence. What are you doing? She got it. She got it. But congratulations to you, Chase. You are today's uh, victim. Wow. Um, and so uh, we are going to go ahead and take you to the vaults um uh ladies if you will just for a second we're gonna go ahead and send y'all backstage as he gets to this with his <laughs> prizes but we're gonna have y'all come right back all right chase once again you have won today's game and so you got a total of 875 points and so due okay. to that chase you have access to all three vaults so what i do want to know is you only get the chance to pick one vault so out of vault one two or three which vault will you be choosing from today i'm going number two will all right going with the number two vault. and all right so you have picked the silver vault and we are going to go ahead and reveal to you what your prize is today um, and let me go ahead and get my prices right voice right. <clears throat> uh, Will, can you tell them what it's one? Uh, thank you, Chase. You are going to the movies. This is going to be sponsored by Fandango. The Will Ferrell will be taking you to the movies. You are uh, be able to select one movie you would like to see in standard edition, and the Ferrell's Vault will pay for it. You will get a movie on us to see in theaters of your choosing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank each and every one of you for uh, checking out today's episode of Ferrell's Vault. And I want to thank my guests today, Model Moore, Grace Aubrey, Paris, Nicole, and Chase Anthony, for stopping in the day and being such wonderful guests showing all the different ranges of how to host and how to play this game, making this a truly great episode and really what I'm trying to pitch. So I appreciate that from each and every one of y'all. Everybody that's watching this, make sure you go in the comments below and tell us which movie were you convinced so much to watch and why and would you recommend it to a friend and watch this weekend and then also make sure that you like and subscribe to my youtube channel twitch as well and make sure you watch out for more stuff coming with wp media and myself the anomaly will Farrow. we thank y'all and we will catch you next time Bye -bye.